please leave or I'll call secure. Oh, dear. Is it one of those convenient headaches? Oh, I call of you. <sighs> Is this where you get weepy and blame me for everything all over again? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Taylor's worked wonders with you. Are you worried about something? Oh, I know what it is. You're probably worried that Taylor's going to figure everything out about you and Nick. You've lost your company. And you have no one to blame but yourself. Really? What is it you're worried about? You think you might lose Nick when he finds out the truth about what everybody else knows, that you're just a slut? <gasps> oh, touchy, touchy. December 27th, session with Nick Moroney. Um, he discovered a lot of childhood memories today that were very difficult. He's very ambivalent about therapy. I'm afraid this may have been our last session. I hope not. Not a case of traumatic memory suppression since as a boy he had a grasp of what he was witnessing. And then a few years later, it drove him away from home to see where he worked his way up the ranks of a merchant fleet. It appears that over time, Mr. Moroni allowed this um, Captain Jerry Kramer and these other sea captains to become uh, maybe a selective amnesia innocent memories and um, he constructed a childhood fantasy that he was this little boy who had been befriended by these men that he looked up to transforming his childhood in this way helped him reconcile the love and respect he had for his mother and the fact that he recognized that um, she was accepting accepting money from these men for sex. Oh my God. Jacqueline Payne was a whore? What are you doing standing there? I knew she was a tramp, but my God. Stephanie, my Stephanie, God. aren't the doors closed outside? Oh. I'm not even supposed to be open <laughs> right now. Jacqueline Payne was turning tricks for the Navy, the I, whole Navy? I cannot believe you were standing outside the door eavesdropping when I'm sitting here doing confidential patient notes. I section. didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I mean, but I guess today's my lucky day. <laughs> you said you'd help us find a way to get the company back, and you have. Oh, my God. They blackmailed us, so you know what I say? What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Ooh, he will do anything to keep that five-letter word out of the newspaper over a picture of mummy. No, 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 no. You heard nothing. You weren't even here. You heard not a got it. <sighs> what? Whose side are you on? My conscience, okay? Well, fine, but, well, then what's the point of the whole exercise? We are talking about my professional integrity here. Wait a minute. You said that if you had Nick in therapy, you could get him to sell us back the company. No, 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 no. Oh, I you never certainly said did that. say that. No, no. What I said was I, I could help him see that payback is not the proper way to react, that, that the company would mean nothing to him if he, he figured out his past. That's what I said. Fine, I guess. But, I, you know, I don't understand you. I could lose my license. Do you understand that? You didn't call me up and, and betray some a patient's personal confidential session. I just walked in here accidentally when you were recording the notes. I would say that if, if it came to that. It won't come to that because you're not saying a word. Stephanie, what if this had happened to you? What if somebody had broken in my office and taken my, my files? Or maybe someone was eavesdropping on me, dictating notes about your case, and they, they heard everything about your childhood abuse by your father how would you feel about that well no one would have anything to gain by it this is different 
This is an I for an I. No, no, this is wrong. You know how raw you felt. Do you have any compassion about that? For Nikki and the whore? No, it doesn't apply. I'm even kind of shocked that you would think that it would apply well, to By them. God, I think maybe you need to be shocked. Listen, they stole my husband's work. They stole his life, his life's work. You are a forester, and don't forget it. And don't try and dress this all up in some little nice claptrap. Okay, you know, I, I want to know where is this new and improved Stephanie? You, you told me that you wanted to become kinder and wiser and more sensitive. What happened to that? All right, I'll work extra hard to take care of the orphans. Now tell me, who is Captain Kramer? I, do you expect me to discuss that with you? And you're not discussing it with anybody else. Stephanie, I have a right to demand your silence. I have taken you back as a friend. I've helped you reclaim your, your, your childhood. I, I'm family, okay? One word, and I swear, if you say anything, I will never do another thing to help you with this company. And any relationship that you and I have ever had is over. Taylor, Taylor, what? Are you here for therapy? Where's Taylor? On an errand. I'm, I'm just here waiting for Thorn. Oh my God, you look like you've had a horrible day. How long, how long will she be? Oh, if you need a John, there's one down the hall you can freshen up. Just tell her I was here. Oh, I bet you're here to find out the lay of the land. You know, she's not going to tell you anything about his therapy. She owes me an explanation, and you can tell her that I said that. Oh, well, according to you, everyone owes you something. I mean, why should the <laughs> lovely Jacqueline not be able to just lie back and collect? Oh, stop with your needling, will you? You lost your company. You lost it because you deserved to. Oh, I thought we lost it because of your consummate performance as a victim. What you deserved really was just uh, the clap. A clap clap. What have you lost? A building? A labor? Some of us have more important things at stake. Hard times are coming, Missy. You may be selling, but nobody's going to be buying. Not at these prices. <laughs>